Hello. In this activity, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, history of virtual reality. There is a long history throughout the past century in the concept of virtual reality, and now I am going to give you uh, a brief overview uh, from the very beginning until these days for the development of the virtual reality concept, including the successes and also some failures in the development of this technology. It was the uh, 1938 when uh, um, Antonin Artaud, a French theater director, used the term la réalité virtuelle for the first time in a collection of essays that was translated into English only 20 years later. That was the first time that this concept was mentioned in the world. But just one year after, in 1939, there was a device that was called ViewMaster. It was essentially a stereoscopic visual display, so for both eyes, that used a thin disk with seven stereoscopic 3D pairs of small color photos. This device was very, very successful and think it was produced for 70 years in several versions until 2009. And I'm sure many of you have tried one of these devices. And now let's jump to 1966. The VR technology was introduced for the first time in the US Air Forces as a visual flight simulator. But the very first uh, breakthrough um, in the semi-consumer level, well, research level, was in 1968 when Ivan Sutherland created the first head-mounted display, which is something uh, that looks a bit like this, but it was much, much heavier. This is something that we have only in these days. Imagine that it was so primitive that in terms of user interface, um, it was quite difficult to use and it was very, very heavy because it had to be suspended from the ceiling in order to be uh, put on the head. So it was really rudimentary as a device. In 1991, the Sega company produced a VR headset for games that had a LCD screen, stereo headphones, an inertial sensor to track and react to the user's head movements. That was already the first device uh, that could be more usable for, for the consumers. And now let's come closer to our days. In 2010, the first prototype of the Oculus Rift was designed. It was not really quite easy as a, as a product. It was a bit cumbersome and it could display only 2D images. And at that time, it had only 90 degrees as a field of view. But of course, the development went over. And in 2014, Perhaps the cheapest of the VR displays was the Google Cardboard. They announced this product that was priced at only $15. It was a do-it-yourself stereoscopic viewer for smartphones. And the only thing you needed was a smartphone and then the cardboard. It was pretty easy as a device. In the same year, 2014, Samsung and Oculus announced Gear VR, which is exactly this device that I have been showing. It is a VR head headset working with a smartphone which can be attached and detached in this way. It's a pretty easy device, it's quite, quite light, and I would say it's pretty cheap also in terms of prices. In mid 2015, Oculus announced the Rift Consumer Edition, which is a device with a high definition resolution and 3D sound. 
In the end of 2015, Nokia announces Ozo, which is a VR professional recording device that has eight cameras, each with a 2K by 2K resolution, with a 195 degrees field of view, eight microphones, and special 3D sound. That's a very nice device for capturing content and watch it in virtual reality. Thank you.